Hi. Last week we drew this picture and earlier this morning when I was filming this lesson, um, I thought my video was recording and it did not. So my picture is painted that we drew together. So I'm gonna show you how to paint on a different picture I have, okay? So that you guys can see how to add watercolor to your picture. This is the one we did um, and it turned out really pretty. <laughs> And so we're going to try this one more time and we're going to be, I'm going to use a different picture, but it is the same bee and similar flowers. And, um, we're going to add the colors the same way we would on the one we drew together. Okay. So if you have a watercolor tray like this, this is what we're using today. And we're going to add paint to our picture. If you don't have a watercolor tray like this, you're gonna need to have washable markers like this that says washable because we can use these like they are paint. And let me show you how to use these first. See this flower? It's got some orange in it. It's got some orange in it. Actually, I actually think I'm gonna use a color that's not orange just so that you can see it a little bit better. So I'm gonna add some yellow. I don't even have to color the whole thing in just gonna add yellow. And then I'm gonna get a Q-tip because if you don't have a watercolor tray, you don't have watercolor brush. I'm gonna get my Q-tip wet. And then when I add water to, this, to the marker, the water will spread around and it'll make the marker act like it's a watercolor. And I even get yellow on the end. Let me try again with this pink one so you can see what I mean. I'm gonna this I'm gonna color one part of this this color pink, but not all of it. I get my Q tip wet and when I add water the pink starts spreading. Oh this is the pink that doesn't want to spread. Let me try it with this other pink. It will spread. I just have one pink that doesn't want to cooperate. So I have water on my Q-tip, I get it wet, and then it starts spreading around. And the water will spread it around, the color will go over in the other places, and you can see there's a little bit of pink on here. So we can use marker to paint with. Um, it's not the best option, but if that's the only thing you have, that's how we're gonna add color to this. If you have the watercolor tray, you'll get your paintbrush, you'll get it wet, and we're gonna work with the light colors first. So a light color is yellow. So we're gonna paint our little bee yellow this morning. So take it, and his backside is yellow. So I'm putting some yellow on his little tail Then I'm gonna rinse my brush in my clean water. This is my cup of clean water. And then I'm gonna go to another color. And so maybe I want um, these flowers to be red. I'll put my brush in the red. I'll get my color good and wet. Roll my brush, don't stab it. If you stab it, you'll break your brush. Pick up the red and then put the color where I want it to go. And that's how you're gonna paint your whole picture. You'll wash your brush. You'll take a, a paper towel to make certain your brush is clean between colors. So this is all of the red I want to use. I'm gonna wash my brush. And I'm gonna put my brush, I've got a little bit of orange coming up, so I'm gonna wash it one more time. And I'm gonna wipe it, and when it comes clean, no color, then I can go to a different color paint. So maybe I'm gonna go darker and do these purple. Get some purple and put purple in these flowers. So you're gonna keep doing this until all your flowers are painted. 
And when all of your flowers are painted, you're gonna go to the green. And then you can come in and start painting the green on your stems and your leaves. And if a little goes outside the lines, that's okay. So we're gonna paint, 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 paint. Paint the whole thing, okay? Paint your grass. If it starts getting dry, add more water so that you can come back in and paint your grass. Where the crayon is, the, the paint will not go over the crayon. So you can see where my crayon lines are and my watercolor is. Paint the whole picture, okay? You can um, paint them what, uh, the, all the different colors that you have. When you're finished, Write your name at the bottom, first and last name, small. You might need to have a parent help you. Then first grade, this is our art show um, picture for this year. And we have an art show at the end of the school year. So if it's possible for your parent to bring your finished artwork up and turn it into my green tub that's out on the front porch, ask your parent to do that. That way I can put your artwork in our art show. If you don't return your artwork, I can't put it in the art show for people to come up and see on our art show night in May. That is the end of our lesson. Talk to you next week.